welcome back to your coffee break or greetings if you've never been here before. My name is Joseph or Muffin. This is fur, the kind we've all painted a bunch of times before. But today it's not about painting this type of fur, rather for this project I wanted to work on the texture where none was sculpted. I'll be working on an ogroid myrmidon whose skin is completely smooth but I will show you a way of adding a bit of texture to it, in the form of short-haired fur. On the palette, I've got some dark sea blue, flat flesh, ice yellow and jade green, all by Vallejo, which will make up his furry skin. The result will be very green in this case, but you could also do this with a more realistic brown or grey fur just as well. The first step here is just a base coat of jade green all over the miniature. Secondly, I'm adding some flat flesh, I'm quickly going over the highlighted areas. This, uh, this is merely preparatory and adding some variation underneath as well as guidelines for the textured steps coming up. I'm also adding some dark sea blue into the shaded areas. The last preparation here is a glaze of the mid-tone to make the transitions less dark. But as you can see, it is by no means smooth. And that doesn't really matter. Adding texture is also just a little bit of a cheat so you don't have to make those perfect blends. And this is where we start adding texture. I've mixed a little bit of ice yellow into the previous highlight color and I'm just drawing a bunch of little lines next to each other. Focusing towards the highlights and I'm using my prep work here as a guide for where to place these highlights. Uh, so I try to paint going downwards as well as if gravity is like pulling these strands of hair down. And this is what I'll be doing over and over again from now on, but with overlapping layers of different brightness. Here I've added a little bit more of ice yellow, and I'm making the lines shorter, covering less area, just as if you were layering or painting normally. And even more ice yellow here, covering less space. And this here is just the mid tone of jade green with a flat flush. In a way, I'm kind of blending the highlights to the mid-tone here, without actually blending them. But I'm making these overlapping layers, as I said before. Slightly darker lines here, these are the pure jade green. And I'm drying them also um, over the shaded areas too. Always going for this overlapping effect. And here we have dark sea blue mixed in. And now some pure dark sea blue. And 
The goal is to create so many lines that it just looks natural because of the visual confusion. So here I'm adding some lines with some amount of ice yellow again, sometimes coming all the way into the shades. And here I'm highlighting again. We're going higher and higher here until we kind of hit uh, a pure ice yellow at the very top. A quick glaze can bring it all together, but for me it got a little bit too dull here, so I've actually gone ahead with some of the same highlights off camera. We're also adding some dark sea blue in the shades in a more glazy manner, as you can see here. And this is how it looks. And now I've gone on ahead and done that same process all over the model. This is the result. As you can see, I've more or less completed the rest of the model here. But I found that since I added a whole lot of purple to his mane, as well as some purple shading in the copper, I wanted a bit of purple in the skin to tie it all together. Purple and green being pretty decent complementary colors after all. So I'm adding some straight royal purple glazed into the shadowed areas. Creating this amount of non-sculpted texture made for a very interesting project, and I think I learned a lot. I think that if your goal is to become a better painter, you should always have some aspect of every product that you really focus in on. Either something new to test out or something specific you deliberately practice to become better at. If I did this in the exact same way I normally do non-human skin, I wouldn't have learned or grown as much as I did. And here are some pictures of the finished model. Hope you enjoy that little excursion into the realm of painting texture. If you did, consider checking out future videos of which I'm planning on making. Until next time, do explore new territory, but uh, also do take a coffee break. <laughs>